Hi, welcome back to Wicked Teen. We're here with Rex Trailer and Mike Bavaro. Um, so we're going to show you uh, the theme song of Boomtown. And also you were just saying how you wrote the theme song the night before the show even well, aired. Well, actually, we had a rehearsal the day before. Wow. And uh, the director said, what are you going to have for a theme song? <laughs> and I said, theme song. And so that night I went home and wrote the theme song. Had it memorized by the next morning. And wow. Yeah, we That's were on the air early in the morning. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. It was a three-hour show. Oh, wow. It's 7 o'clock. We'll see you boys and girls in Boomtown right here on Channel 4 WBZ-TV in Boston. So everybody join in and sing out good and loud. Here we go. So long, folks. It was nice to meet you in Boom. Boom, boom time. And next week we hope we can greet you in boom, boom, boom time. You can bet we'll have lots of western fun and excitement for you. We'll ride and rope, do a square dance and shoot a gun and sing a song or two. Come along folks, cause we're gonna start the fun and boom, boom, boom time. From six to sixty, the something for everyone and boom, boom. Boomtown, so do see -si do and swing around. Get your gal and promenade down to Boom, Boom, Boomtown. It was a very catchy song. Now, it, you may be wondering why that was in black and white, but <laughs> believe me, there was black and white. Television. <laughs> what? And that's all there was. No color? No what? color. What? What? No color. <laughs> that defies logic. <laughs> and you won't believe this. No tape. Wow. Wow. No, so, Rex, now since you know that you used to film in black and white and with no tape and everything, how did you actually get started with this since you started so far back? How did you get started in, in the television, television business? In the television yeah. business. Yeah. What I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. I had no training. I was a rodeo performer, and I did trick roping, trick riding, and played guitar. And I was performing in the rodeo at Madison Square Garden in New York, the old one, mm -hmm. not the new one. And somebody was in my dressing room when I came out of the arena, and it was a fellow by the name of Gabby Hayes. Now, you probably don't know who he is, but he was John Wayne's sidekick. Uh -huh. And... Mm -hmm. uh, he was like a prospector, yeah, an old-timey prospector with a beard, and he talked like this. And he said, Rex, I caught your act, and I want to make an invitation to you to come up to my ranch in the Catskills. I have a ranch for kids and I'd like you to be the entertainment manager. And, and the rest I said, history. okay, and uh, how much was I going to pay? <laughs> he told me how much it was going to pay. It was a lot more than I was making in the rodeo. So I said, I'll be there. <laughs> how did the name Boomtown come along? Was that your idea or was it I, we were looking for a name for the show, and I was sitting at home watching television, and a Clark Gable movie came on, and all across the screen at the opening was Boomtown, and I said, hey, how about that? What movie was it? Boom cow. Oh, oh. <laughs> it, it was about oil drillers. Yeah, it wasn't about cowboys. Yeah. But boom cow was it what we yeah. had. Yeah. Yeah. 
The first show I did, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. How, the answer to how I got into television is this. I worked for Gabby Hayes. At the end of the season, he said, you get along so well with kids, you ought to be on television doing your own kid show. He said, you ought to get into that new thing called television. Because <laughs> it was brand new at the time. I mean, oh, Rex yeah. was, he was there at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So I said, well, how do I go about that? He said, well, the ranch was going to close after Labor Day. You go down to New York, go to the TV stations and see what you can do. So I said, okay. He made it sound pretty easy. I'd just go down there. I'd be on the air. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, right? Pardon? Does, did it work like that? No? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. I went to CBS, got kicked out. We don't hire cowboys here. <laughs> I bet they end up regretting it, though, once they see you and see how well, good you are. Well, that was later on, yeah. yeah. And then I went to NBC, same thing, mm. and then ABC, that turned out just the same. And then I went to a station called Dumont Television, and Dr. Dumont was one of the originators of television. And this is back in the early days. I was 17 at the time, and I got kicked out of there pretty quick. And I was headed back to my car out and back. And I passed by this big scene dock, a big opening. You could drive a truck in there. And so I stood there watching these guys in there painting scenery. And Somebody came in, and he came over and he says, hey, you looking for a job? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> can you paint scenery? <laughs> I said, well, I can do whatever those guys are doing. <laughs> okay, come on in, we'll give you a try. So I wound up painting scenery <laughs> for a month. And uh, this same fellow that offered me the job came over and gave me my check. Whoa, pretty good. <laughs> and he said, by the way, at the station here, they're looking for a production coordinator. I had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> So he said, can you do that? I said, yep. <laughs> OJT, on the job training. <laughs> so. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> then I was in. <laughs> I was in the building. And, and that's what counts. That's what, yeah, and the, rest, and the rest is just a matter of fact of going up the ladder, right? And I did. Speaking of going up the ladder, I have to ask, you, you've got so many accomplishments and you've got so many hobbies that I read about. You can skydive and scuba dive, <laughs> so many things. But I have to ask, is there anything that you might regret that you wish you could have changed or could have done differently, like either with Boomtown or with other shows that you did? Well. Are we taking questions? Yeah, we are taking questions on the Facebook at YBA. Yeah. So if you have any questions for Rex or for um, anyone else, Mike, then definitely write them up. And or any of us, we're open for questions yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come ask. 